The ever-mighty Geralt of Rivia appears to have slain his last monster, and what a foul beast it was as well, going by the name of the Witcher television series. As apparently, season 3 might be the final season due to delays in beginning filming of season 4. Now the exact nature of these delays have varied from every single source I've found so far, so you know, but it appears as if some head honcho up in the Netflix burger has decided that mm, The Witcher is no longer a priority anymore, and so they aren't really getting the go-ahead on the funding or the procedures or even just the people they need to get started. Now that could simply just be a good old-fashioned actual genuine delay. Entirely possible. They might have run out of, I don't know, hot sauce or salt or something, though now that Cavill is off the show and no longer reminding the female writing staff about how they're getting everything wrong, you know, salt at least might actually be a, a lacking good now. Who knows? As I consider this a genuine win for Henry Cavill as well, and that's the only reason I'm real talking about this. Hell, it's even old news at this point, practically. I heard about it in the Archcast last weekend, so I think to dig a little bit more into it. So, the reason why they got rid of Cavill, there's been a lot of speculation surrounding it, as Cavill was the only reason why Season 1 was saved from being an absolute, unmitigated train wreck. And don't get me wrong, Season 1 was not very good at all. The, the story structure was... Oi, terrible. It's, it's one of those ideas where like, okay, what if we take a story that would be a fairly simple and maybe even engaging A to B storyline and we just chop it up into a dozen tiny pieces and then jumble them together randomly until you have no idea who's alive, when they're alive, why they're alive, who they're fighting, or why for that matter. And not to mention the ballsack armor. The only reason why Witcher survived its first season was because Cavill did a genuinely interesting and good job as Geralt. Oh, Jasper did okay as well, I suppose. The um, toss a coin to a Witcher song most certainly contributed heftily to the show's relative success. The CGI and the diversity, however, eh, God. Particularly the dragon thing was very, very, very retarded. But now that, of course, they've announced that um, Cavill is leaving after season three, presumably over a lot of disagreements with the writing staff and the directors, that ain't gonna last for much longer. Now, they already pretty much sidelined him completely in the second half of The Witcher season three, which incidentally almost certainly is the reason why that was a two-parter, where they had released the first half of season three where Geralt still had a major role, and then in the second one, suddenly, off to the side you go. Almost as if they didn't know that he was fired at the beginning of season three and then decided to rewrite all of it so as to minimize his presence to make it easier for um, Thor's brother, yes, actually, uh, to take up his role afterwards. I don't think it's going to work out. I've heard rumors that they're going to do some kind of multiverse bullshit because, you know, every universe needs to be a multiverse these days for reasons. And that's how they're going to explain how he suddenly looks completely different and presumably acts far more pussified as well, I would imagine. As for, again, the reason why he was fired, well, it, there was a bunch of stuff coming out. There was an alleged whistleblower from within the crew who said that Cavill had been acting like a real dude bro gamer something something um, on the crew, going like, um, actually, sorry, um, that's, that's not how it's written in the book. Uh, could we change that? And no, um, you really shouldn't play off the death of Roach as a joke because he's kind of an important horse to Geralt, you know? Um, and we even have, in fact, see, I, I believe it because we know that Cavill actually was allowed to rewrite that scene into something far more, well, good and serious rather than apparently the death of his horse, Roach, was supposed to be played off as a joke or something. It's like, okay, that sounds ridiculous, but... I can believe it from modern day Hollywood, absolutely, or modern day Netflix anyways. And this apparently pissed off a lot of people, and so the whistleblower, quote unquote, made a whole list of allegations of him acting like a jackass. The problem was, all of his jackass behaviour just made him sound like a really goddamn great dude, honestly. It's like, there was one part where, um, it's like, oh, Cavill, he refuses all of the sex scenes and stuff. Oh god, like, well. What is he, not a team player or something? Meanwhile, I imagine Cavill's there just scowling over at Trish Medigold going, Pay me more. <laughs> so him getting out of, of the sinking ship is honestly a very good 
thing. As for whether or not this means we will see um, Henry Cavill story time in 40k, well, again, this I am almost sure was a leak and or plant, honestly I'm not entirely sure, uh, by someone who was like, oh this is totally happening guys, and then Games Workshop was like, wait, this is, this, this, this is happening? Shit, um, well, he's really popular. Uh, let, let's put out a, like a like a thing that we, we're totally in talks with Amazon over this, and then nothing actually happened as Amazon didn't seem to have actually been informed about the talks. Now, there has been closing of the gap between Amazon and Games Workshop, as I know from my Amazon Insider, suggesting that Games Workshop is getting their own like special treatment. They're getting their own contact team, and as I mentioned in the previous video, they are allowed to take down a lot of Warhammer related products or paraphernalia or per peripheral products more correctly things created to be additive to the warhammer universe rather than being actually you know subtractive from it or official games workshop products like bases and stuff and even um, people selling their old models apparently so that suggests that the two parties are moving together but as of yet again there has been absolutely no mention anywhere whatsoever as far as i can tell anyways of any sort of a project with cavill and the problem is, the cold hard truth is, we might love Cavill, because he seems to genuinely be one of us. He seems to be an actual genuine hobbyist and a gamer, and someone who takes actual serious interest in these universes, and has a passion for actually representing them well. And the people who are actually doing that in modern day entertainment, you can pretty much count on the fingers of one finger, honestly. Cavill, probably. I, genuine, no, 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 um, Carl Urban, there you go, that two fingers then there you go so one hand okay but it is a rarity and it means that he is disliked strongly by the industry at large as was mentioned by the whistleblower that the director and the casting director hated his guts and considering the uh, interview we read from the cast director just a couple of days ago and how she gleefully admitted to every wrongdoing in the book I can absolutely imagine that she wouldn't get along very well with someone who seems to be, you know, a decent person like Cavill. I mean, this is an acting director that admitted that the reason she hired Yennefer was because she knew her personally and thought they were bound together by a bond of destiny or some such feminist nonsense. Like, okay, and she was straight out of goddamn drama school. She'd never worked in the industry before and she lands a major role because the casting director feels they have a bond. Aha. Uh -huh. Bond indeed. So, who knows? I hope Cavill will actually land something like that, and I hope he will be able to do well with it. Now, with the Modern Games Workshop and what they're doing to the law, is... I'm not sure if 40k is the correct place for a person like Cavill anymore, but God willing, he will land on his feet and do far better wherever he goes than with The Witcher. But again, probably the entire industry is against him at this point. I can damn near guarantee you that he has a very negative uh, reputation within the industry, probably largely because he has a good reputation with us. Seeing the repeated hostile interactions that the mainstream has with their audience today, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if somebody who was actually popular with that group was actively loathed by the people on the inside. Honestly, our best bet for a Henry Cavill TV show slash story hour is probably if an AI writes it. Which, you know, considering the way things are going, uh, that might be more likely than you'd think. We can but hope and pray. As for The Witcher, Season 1 was watchable. Season 2 was okay, comparable, maybe even better in some areas, specifically in terms of story focus, but the lack of focus on Cavill, the only one I was interested in, hardly did the show any favour. Diversity aplenty, backwards screenwriting and acting choices, and of course Season 3 was just god damn boring. And at this point it's deviated so far from the original books, you might as well name it The Adventures of Yennefer and Group, frankly. So is a season 4 even interesting? Not to me at least. And considering the fact that the majority of people dump the show after the second season, it seems as if the majority agrees with that as well. Anywho, best of luck to Henry Cavill and I hope to see all of you again soon as well. Until then, have a good day.